this the last one? Who wants questions? Right here. Take these two first. Jamal, is it possible that fourth quarter, last game, you had 23 points. Is it possible to carry momentum over into another game? Does that does that work for you? Uh, no, I just thought we, we as a team brought the right mindset going in. Um, we knew the crowd was going to be into it, and they were. Um, I thought we did a good job of just hitting first on the road especially and uh, keeping that up even when they made their run and they came back. I think it was like 71-71. Uh, but we were even in the quarter, and once we realized that, even when we weren't playing the best, we just got to buckle down and, and uh, do the same they were doing the first half. Bro, you're right. Jamal, can you talk about the team's defensive effort tonight and over the last two games? Yeah, it's been good. Uh, I think we've just been on a string. You know, even We're on the same page with what we're doing. Um, even when we mix it up in timeouts and adjustments, game to game, um, everybody's on the same page. Um, when we mess up, we don't you know, get too down. I think that's the biggest thing, we just next possession and uh, get back to it. You know, we can't hang your head in the playoffs, and we're doing a good job of just uh, trucking along and, and um, getting back on the same page, like I said. Back row in the center there. <laughs> hey, Jamal, um, Malone was just in here talking about how late in the fourth, Joker kind of took over the huddles a little bit, was calling out plays, was t saying that, you know, you and him were going to play two-man game. Um, clear the side of the floor for that. Can you kind of take us inside those huddles and kind of what was just the communication like between him and the team and, and all you guys at that point? Um, we were up at the time, and uh, we just wanted to, you know, not rush anything. Um, we know that... Uh Yeah, once we have space, you know, we can we can find out different holes and seams and, and gaps in the defense. And uh, I just think we did a good job, like I said, just taking our time. We didn't rush anything, and um, I think we made a, a good play every time out of it. So it was just no rush was the biggest thing, and uh, no turnovers. And we did a good job of just executing. And, and Yoke did a great job of uh, clearly in English speaking you know, to, to, to the team in the huddle about you know uh, where everybody should be. And um, like I said, we did a good job executing. Hi, Jamal. I know you guys have been. This is the farthest you've been, obviously, since 2020, in, in this same same round against the same team. Is there anything you take from just having been to that spot, and also other previous playoff experiences that that helps you get either just here and then also forward past it? Um, you know, you can learn things in, in your wins, and you can learn things in your losses. I remember the Lakers were uh, in, in the bubble. They were a big team. You know, they would do lineups of of LeBron, AD, Dwight Howard, Kuz. And then, like, Danny, I don't know, somebody, somebody, yeah, Danny Green. So that was a big line. Even when we got to stop, it was tough for us to rebound. And I think they were up at the half and rebounding. We just knew this is this kind of the same thing. You know, I know we were making shots in the first half, but we can't let them get second chance opportunities to that team. Um, and uh, we just did a good job of just giving them one shot. And uh, like I said, being in the paint, helping out each other, and, and just being on the string, especially on the back line of the defense. We good. Sort of following up on that, Jamal, your message coming off of the court, the message that continued in the hallway wasn't, we got to go win one more. It's it, we need to win five more. Mm -hmm. What's the balance there with the, the micro task at hand and the joy you have in this versus knowing that there's something else that you're going for? Um, just keeping everybody in the moment, you know, not letting it slip away. Um, you know, you need 16 wins to win a championship, and we got five more to go. And, uh, the Lakers are in a way, and they're going to do everything in their power to come back and, and, and fight. And they're not going to just lay down and let us beat them, you know, on their home floor. So, you know, we know next game is going to be another test. They're going to come more aggressive. AD's going to be more aggressive. LeBron's going to be more aggressive, you know, so the crowd's going to be more into it. So we know it's coming, and we just got to stay locked in and know that um, we can do it. And uh, we have full belief in that. And um, like I said, we got five more to go. Oh. Jamal, we don't see Nikola struggle like that very much in the first three quarters, and then he also got a foul trouble. Do you feel like this team can find different ways to win games? Yeah, I don't know. we got a lot of guys that can come in and, can, and impact the game. Um, so I just, you know, KCP did a great job. Bruce, I, can, I mean, everybody that played today did a great job. Um, you know, I yoked him to me. He didn't even struggle in the first. He just was in foul trouble. And uh, he wasn't really getting the ball because I was having it. So, um, <laughs> you know, I think I think he'll have a, a stronger start next game. That's two, right here. Kind of, kind of going back to what that was, what does this say about your team? 
giant first half for you. KCP was, I thought, monster in the third quarter. Joker comes back in the fourth. But what does that say to everybody about your team? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we got a lot of unselfish. Like, we're just a very unselfish team. You know, it may not be your night. It may not be your quarter. Um, I thought Aaron has done a great job all playoffs, just finding his finding um, his matchups um, and guarding, getting back in transition, being at the rim, being big. Um, you know, he's everybody, Bruce, you know, steps up. You know, everybody realizes when we need something and we need a spark. Um, could be Joker, it could be me, it could be Bruce. Um, you know, Jeff off the bench, you know, whether it's a chase down block or a, a charge or something, you know, everybody has something that they can come and impact the game with. And I just thought, you know, tonight was another example of everybody stepping up uh, in the right way. Last question on the right. Hey, Jamal, what is the biggest difference in your game between the bubble and this series? I'm healthy. That's it. That's uh, it. I got see the game a little slower, I think. Um, um, not as rushed. I'd probably say, you know, I take my time a little more, even just a couple more dribbles, just to not turn it over or put somebody else in a bad spot if I pass it. Um, so I'd say just slowing the game down and also get to watch the game from afar for a couple of seasons or a season and two postseasons. So, you know, watching a lot of film and and, and um, picking my spots from there. Oh, I thought you had one. No, we're no. good. Thanks, Jamal. Thanks, Jamal.